Um, so I started cutting hair in 2006 out of my mom's garage. Um, for me, at first, it was just a hustle, something that would get me by, you know, when I was in school. And uh, being in high school, it was kind of hard to find a job at the age of 15, 16. So uh, when I was 16 years old, I found that that was a good way for me to make a little bit of extra money while I was going to school. And I had a couple friends that did it, and they worked in the malls and stuff like that. So um, seeing them making good money and, and being young like I was, um, it just kind of led me in the right direction as far as barbering and it, and it kind of excited me to do something that I loved and make money at the same time so I picked up my first pair of clippers and they were actually animal clippers because my mom had um, she bought some clippers for the dog and um, just some pet grooming clippers I think they were like some Austers or something like that and uh, so once I picked up my first pair of clippers that was it I just fell in love with it I started doing designs and uh, then I started competing and it just took off from there. It opened up so many avenues for me. I just couldn't put the clippers down. My passion really came from seeing people happy when they got out of my chair. You know, like uh, when you give somebody a haircut and it takes you about 30 minutes to do it. And, you know, going through the process of, you know, fading out the hair and doing the crispy lines and um, just the art behind it. I fell in love with the art. I've always been an artist. I've always liked to, to just sketch on a pen and um, paper and just seeing the art behind being a barber and seeing that I could transform somebody from looking homeless to looking like a CEO of a major company. Um, I just fell in love with the fact that I could help people and put a smile on people's faces. So once you find a passion and, and, and you've got something that you love to do and people kind of gravitate towards that, the next step is trying to be the best at it. And the only way to compete with people and compete as a company or a brand is to brand yourself. And I learned that from one of my mentors, BV. You know, he taught me how to brand myself and he actually made me a logo. And that was one of the biggest steps I took into making this a career rather than just a hustle and rather than just uh, a way to make a quick dollar. I actually learned how to brand myself and I created a brand for myself, Angel Ross. And a lot of people think that's my real name, but it's really not. And, and that was just part of the brand. And we just ran from there. The way I came up with the name Angel Ross prior to me, being a barber, I uh, my biggest dream was to be a professional skateboarder, and a word that I developed as a kid when I was you know 14, 15 was raw. I just everything was raw to me. Um, if somebody would land a dope trick, it'd be a raw trick. Like, and people just started calling me raws, like because that was just a word that I picked up, and everybody knew me for saying that word, you know, as a kid. So it just stuck from there. Um, to me, barbering has changed a lot since when since I started. Um, I started in 2006. By 2008, I was really deep into it, and there wasn't many people doing it. You know, I would go to these competitions, and there would be maybe you know 80 to 100 people at these shows, and um, there wasn't a lot of hype behind barbering. You know, nowadays everybody wants to be a barber. Everybody wants to be the barber. Everybody wants it to be. You know, it, it's turned into a fad to me um there's a lot of barbers that just do it because they think that they can create their own schedule and you know manage their own hours and do what they want come into barbershop when they want but there's a lot of us out here that actually take it serious and you know this is our career you know we do this to feed our families we do this because we love it there's passion behind it and to me the thing that's changed is a lot of barbers still they don't have that passion anymore it's just something cool to do uh barbers that i looked up to um Man, there's so many. Just being in the barber industry for 10 plus years, I've seen barbers come and go. Um, I see a lot of barbers still here that have been here from the beginning when I started. And uh, Curtis Smith, um, you know, Kenny Duncan, uh, you know, there's so many. The list goes on. You know, there's a lot of educators that I look up to, you know, a lot of people that compete a lot that I look up to that have a lot of trophies that may not be educators. Um, there's just so many barbers, you know, that list could be endless. I definitely think competition is a good thing in the barber world because it kind of keeps us on our toes. You know, if 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 you come to one of these ba barber battles and you're battling, your game better be tight. You know, if if you're running a barber shop and you know the barber up the street is branding himself and he's doing the right things and the right steps to take, you know, to to have a successful business like a Walmart or anything like that. You know, they all have logos and stuff like that. So you got to kind of compete with what's around you so it kind of makes everybody step their game up and keeps the you know the barbers in the area one step ahead um the way barbering is moving now i feel like a, um there's a lot of people that want to be barbers and are interested in barbering so um more than ever before so the future for barbering it, it looks really bright but education i think is the key 
you know, I see more schools opening up, which is good. You know, a lot of barbers um, are competing more. You know, they're, they're doing more shows. They're learning a lot more. So they got to teach a lot more to these younger barbers coming up. So I think education is going to be the major key for the, for the future of barbering. So, again, my name is Angel Ross, uh, owner of Raw Cuts Barbershop. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at angel underscore R-A-W-S. Also, follow my barbershop at Raw Cuts Barbershop on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, the professionals barbershop underscore com for the apparel. Thank you guys for watching.